was uh, eating really, you know, Xanax as his power <laughs> pill or something. I don't know. This is Stuart Smith. From the <laughs> Good morning, morning, everyone. Yes, from the Tide of Morning Telegraph. He is the <laughs> entertainment editor. He is also the man in, responsible for Marquee, which is in the uh, paper every Friday. And today we're reviewing movies, and we got three of them. We're going to start with Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Okay, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is based on a comic series by an artist named Brian Lee O'Malley. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Honestly, it's one of my absolute favorite comic series of all time. Really? It's a phenomenal series. Okay. A lot of people don't know about it. But uh, this is one of those movies that, unless you were born with an old 8-bit Nintendo controller in your hand, <laughs> chances are you're not going to get what makes this movie so special, okay. or just on the level that some people will. Uh, it's about a 22-year-old slacker named Scott Pilgrim. He's in a band. And uh, in order to date the girl of his dreams, he has to fight and defeat her seven evil ex-boyfriends. Okay. So a lot of comic book motifs, a uh, lot, tons of video game references. Okay. I mean, this is gonna this is gonna hit big with the 25 to 35 year old crowd. That leaves me out. Uh, you know, and I think there's a lot of a lot to like for anybody who goes to see it, but. The people who will really appreciate it are, you know, people of my generation. Okay, all right. And then the next one uh, has every uh, action hero that we've ever seen in the <laughs> movies, The Expendables. If your favorite movies are stuff like Tango and Cash and Cobra <laughs> and I Come in Peace. Die Hard. Right, th this is going to be your favorite movie of the year, Okay. no doubt. I mean, this is just, this is a test, this is eat, pray, testosterone. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's, that's what this movie this is. is the, this is the one you sneak off to see while your wife goes to exactly. see the other when one. Exactly, right? when you you know go get a, a refill for the eighth time, it's because you're going to check up, you know, and see how Steve Austin is beating up Sly Stallone. So is this the, is this one of those uh, body count kind of movies? Absolutely. Good. And we like action that. fans wouldn't have it any other uh, way. All right, and now we've saved the best for last because we know this is the one that you most want to see. Julia Roberts in oh. Eat, Pray, Love. I've already bought my ticket. I, I bet you have. <laughs> I bet you have. Uh, what do you think? Uh, look, this is going to... This is probably going to going to be what takes the weekend box office, just sure. because uh, females have been horribly underserved this summer. I mean, we've had a you know they've had a few things like Sex in the City, right? Sex in the City, Letters to Juliet, but by and large, they really haven't had a whole lot of stuff that is programmed specifically for them. True. And given how insanely popular the uh, book that this movie is based on was I mean this this is going to do big business and you know I think women who were fans of the book are, are going to be uh, a fan of the movie I mean it's Will it's, a guy like it probably not okay but you'll have to sit through it anyway probably but it, but it's Julia Roberts it's it Julia Roberts worse. look she's a delightful actress Javier Bardem is is great you know Billy Crudup Richard Jenkins it's actually got a really good cast in it James so. Franco is yeah hit, James is hitting Franco, on her. wait a minute what is this what yeah. I mean, and he said he did the movie just so he could kiss Julia Roberts. Well, who wouldn't? Well, good point. Uh, all right, and then one, one last thing. Locally, we've got a guy named Ramoth Gilead playing as an acoustic uh, guitarist. I like he's, this. The guy, he's just an extremely talented musician. He's playing at two different locations uh, this weekend. Okay. A place called Taste of Jazz uh, tonight and then Java Jams on Saturday. Check him out. So you think all three of these movies would be worth seeing? If you can't find something that you want to see this weekend, I don't know why you're at a movie. You just theater. don't like movies. Pretty much. Okay, all right, good deal. Uh, of course, Stuart Smith, uh, you can check out uh, this interview again on CBS19.tv, and uh, you can also check out all the uh, many, the many, many, many writings, the wit and wisdom of Stuart Smith and Marquis in today's Tide of Morning Telegraph. I'm quoting you yes. on my business cards. I, I, I think you should. Uh, and uh, it's so nice to see that you've, you've found your sensitive side so you can oh, see yeah. Eat, Pray, Love. I do what I can. Thank you very much. All right, Stuart <laughs> Smith.